All right, so it's looking pretty summery here in Kamloops, BC. The grass is starting to show up. There's sun out. Got the sled up on the deck. There's no snow anywhere around us. So let's go to Grizzly Lodge. We're gonna do 24 hours of Turcotte, Grizzly Lodge style, starting right now. kind of fits I think. So here's a quick little look at my setup. <laughs> Got the Zool's Zeus bag on the tunnel there. It was a little bit difficult to get it to secure down because I did a CR tunnel <laughs> shortening kit but it looks like it's gonna be okay. I have all of my gear in that bag right now. So I got my knee braces, my boots, all my spare gloves. Got my Abbey backpack in there. Got my tunnel backpack, you know, the tunnel storage bag in there. About ready to hit the trail here. Probably gonna wanna put the scratchers down. Looks like Taylor did some grooming recently. So hopefully it's a nice smooth ride in there for us today. Oh yeah, look at that. It's been groomed like quite recently. This should make for a nice ride in, I think. Wanna see something cool about these QS3s? Look at this. Just reach down. Oh, it's a little bit too soft. I put it on clicker number three. Now I got a more rigid front end. I feel like when I get to the lodge later, I'm definitely gonna be uh, adding some more air pressure into those ski shocks. Well, after about 25 kilometers of this nicely groomed trail that Taylor put in, and a nice full moon ride, we're about to turn the corner and see Grizzly Lodge. Man, I love coming here. Some of my best memories have been here. One of the first times I ever hung out with my wife was here. I've came and jumped snowmobiles, filmed Slednecks, filmed 509, and uh, you know, this place just brings overall good vibes. So, I'm gonna put the sled in the garage here and uh, go on inside. It smells like dinner's ready. Wonder what they're cooking. Just made it to Grizzly Lodge. We're here in the gear room. I just hung up all my gear behind me. You can see everybody's got all their gear hanging out. It's all been wet because they've been shredding pow all day. It smells like dinner's ready. So I'm gonna head upstairs, grab some dinner. So I was about to <laughs> dish myself up with a regular dinner here at Grizzly, but I had a tooth whitening appointment yesterday and the uh, lady said that I can only eat white things. So they fixed me up a special meal here. Gave me a nice little note. For whatever reason, it seems to be the cool thing to do at Grizzly Lodge this year is to give haircuts past 10 o'clock. So Taylor's going to get the clippers. We're going to do some haircuts. Oh, uh, it's going to look good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll just get rid of your sideburn. There's not much there anyway. Cuts, <laughs> cuts by Christian. <laughs> so you're saying it just grows in like that. It just grows in like that. <laughs> I kind of get this line. That's, that's like the make it or break it part for sure. The line up top. I like it. That looks pretty good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sick. yeah man. It's like you might need a trim in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Is it cold? <laughs> no, it's, it's pretty good. That's good sports there, boys. Oh, he also has long hair here. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Woo! What are we doing? What are we Just retrim the fucking thing. Right? It's like a weekly thing. You gotta get her down. 
just waking up here. Had an amazing sleep in the staff housing. And uh, I'm gonna make my bed, have a look outside. I got a quick glimpse and it looks like it's gonna be blue today. So let's have a look. Oh, looks amazing. Yeah, you guys don't mind sweating and swearing and digging? Oh, that's what we've been doing the last two days. Nice. What did you say? It's gonna be rowdy? It's gonna be rowdy for sure. Like it? I'm excited. Little uh, morning pre breakfast uh, chat with the group here. Taylor says we want to go do rowdy stuff. The group is like 100% in, in like agreement with the fact that they want to go sweat and swear and get sweaty. So it should be a good day. Thanks there, muscles. So I guess as the green guy, you get to be the the gas jockey of the year, huh? Yep. <laughs> that's oh, awesome. Jobs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's awesome. I love being up here. It's so sick. Oh yeah, living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's the lead guy that works here a majority of the time at Grizzly Lodge. Most. <laughs> he likes to be a bit of a character and just like that we're in the alpine now I'm gonna get my sled cooled off here I was feeling a little lazy I didn't want to put my scratchers down I'll be able to meet up with the guys here in a second there we go it's nice and cooled down now Hey guys, guys just forgets on how big all this stuff is until you get a sunny day and you get to see it all again. Every one of my trips there this year has been kind of clouded in so it's a nice, a nice breath of fresh air to be able to get some visibility, have a look around, see where we want to go. I see some trees over there that look like I need to put my snowmobile in them. Not against them, but amongst them. Oh, a little triple. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be able to get the snow crosser out of my brain. I always see the bumps on the trails to try and figure out if I should double them or triple them. Look at stuff like this and be like, oh man, what can I do with that? very thankful that I got to grow up riding snowcross gave me so much snowmobile abilities and now the way that I look at terrain is definitely fun it's like a funky little step up thing That was kind of very melodramatic. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of trying to climb Jackson Hole. I got a podium there one year, 2018. I grew up climbing hills with my dad. And uh, you know, I can go hit big jumps all day long. I still get nervous trying to climb stuff like that, so it's cool to get the nerves going a little bit, I guess. Oh, don't roost me, bro. Taylor says it's really good tree riding up there. Just keep going up. So we're going to go up and see what we can find here. Kind of tight. Lots of traction in the tree wells today though. They've had a little bit of spring melt it looks like. Oh there's a Taylor track. One thing about following a gnarly track like this is 
You keep your low side ski in the rut like this, you can pretty much go anywhere just idling. Now I'm just tracking Taylor until I get to some open ground. Then I'll make my own line again. This is a pretty good ride. Oh, look at that pillow. Oh, it looks like I found myself another Taylor track. Let's see if I can't follow this one. Oh, look at that line. That'd be a fun one to try. <laughs> the boys are shredding right now. Yeah, boys. Oh, those tree wells are so hard. stuck took some out of me Decent recovery though. There's those icy tree wells again, man. Those are tough. Very difficult uh, to maintain control in there. Not so sure that Taylor left me any snow to work with here. <laughs> oh man. This is where Lots of wrong foot forward practice comes into play. And using your other buddy's trench to your advantage. You kind of just use it like a train track. And I'm out of it. And it is steep in here. Holy crap, Taylor. Go for it, Taylor. Oh, man. Man, snowmobiling is by far my most favorite sport. Look at that. You'll get up through that rock, but maybe go up that way and across.
So I got the adrenaline going. I don't know what's ahead of me, but it looks like around the corner is very sick. I'm gonna try and get there. dude <laughs> yeah right what am I doing over here all by myself how's the vibe down there guys Free entry attempt number one I can hear Taylor coming oh <laughs> That one sounded like a spin out. Yeah, a little bit. You just having trouble getting through that skinny spot? Get the shovel out, man. I need you over here. Taylor's struggling to get up. It's kind of an eerie feeling being in here. I'm like very committed. I don't think that I'm going back the way that I came in at all. <laughs> it's very uh, eerie to be in here by myself, to be honest with you. It's always nice to have that like reassurance of a buddy sometimes. <laughs> I mean the lines ahead of me don't look amazing. I think that it's all cliffed out below me. Uh, I think it's doable. Just be nice to have that reassurance of a buddy. Yeah, keep coming Taylor. You call this a guide day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Our clients are like, like 400 feet directly below us. Just wondering what the hell we're even doing. Come on up, boys. It's all clear and easy. Taylor and I, now I've got a riding partner. Got a little bit more confidence in our situation here. Taylor's gonna pick his way up this slope and we're gonna try and figure out where the heck we're gonna go after this. Doesn't look like it gets any easier going. I guess it'd be better if I had my tether on. Love an RMK. Oh my goodness. This is so good. <laughs> dude! What now? Look at how sick that is below us, dude. I am so happy with what snowmobiles does for me in my life. I was just telling Taylor, it's so amazing where snowmobiles will take you. There's no way that I'd be hiking my ass to come look at all this stuff in the summer. But I can hop on my snowmobile, scare myself, which I love doing, and get to see places like this. Thank you, snowmobiling. <laughs> So when everybody gives me shit for being a one-trick pony and knowing how to do a bow tie, 
that is where the bow tie or just aerial awareness comes in perfectly. <laughs> Snowmobiles are so cool. <laughs> That's where Taylor and I took our snowmobiles. How ridiculous is that? fast haircut tie I'm pretty into it though my lines are just as sick as these <laughs> Must be the haircut. I think it is. Sick lines. Go do the re-entry now, dude. You got it. Here we go. <laughs> at Grizzly dude. Oh yeah. Now I gotta pack my stuff and head home. Taylor's got my gear bag and we're gonna hit the road here. Head back to my house in Kamloops. Get back to the, being a dad. You wanna race man? Sure. I'm jealous of your tall windshield. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that I sent you? No, Nikki just said, hey, you're supposed to call Liam, it's urgent. Okay, go on to your messages and- My messages? Go on to your, yeah, I sent you a video. Uh, in my like, like texts? Yeah. Oh, I'm just getting back into cell service now. I was like okay. 100K into the bush. Oh, really? I was yeah. wondering, I, I texted, so I did the flip, man. Come on. I had two and landed it. Yeah, right. I I was, I, like I watched your video about a hundred times. 
and I was like, okay, I leaned to the right and I kind of did what you said. You rode out too? Yeah, man, I was, I was just, I was like, fuck, Brett would be really proud. No I, I was way. like, <laughs> dude. And That's... then I hit it a second time. Yeah. And uh, I was like, fuck, cause it was good, but like I really leaned to the right and then it was good, I landed, but I was like, it's not, I wanted it to be like a little bit bigger. So yeah. I did it again, even faster, and I fucking landed it again. No I way! Couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Dude! Dude, congrats, but, that's that's huge, that's amazing, man. Yeah, man, such a relief. Like, I was thinking about that pretty much every day after I was there with you. Oh, man, I'm so stoked for Liam right now. That is such an epic way to end my day. Like. You know, as if my day couldn't get any better. <laughs> Liam calls and is like, hey man, I just did a 270 on that sort of flip jump that you did with your Matrix the other day. And that's just like, man, whew. I don't even, I'm so stoked for you, Liam. Good job, man. Way to just like put your mind to something and do it. That's a, that's a really sick trait and uh, keep charging, dude. Let's get after it. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to